Experts question effectiveness of long-term care coronavirus vaccination plans and nursing homes really at the brink as providers beg families to not visit for Thanksgiving. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Some experts are doubting how successful the federal government's virus vaccination plans for long-term care facilities will be, citing concerns about the strategy for staff and potential side effects. Quote, the way the government has approached the vaccination distribution for nursing homes has been keeping me up at night, geriatrician Michael Wasserman, MD, told CBS News. He continued, the government has rolled out a plan without engaging with people who have knowledge of how to care for this population. I am exceedingly skeptical that implementation will go smoothly. Federal health officials revealed last week that 99% of skilled nursing facilities have opted into the Pharmacy Partnership for Long-Term Care program, which will provide the medication to the facilities at no cost. Authorities also expect to have 40 million doses of vaccines ready for distribution pending FDA authorization by the end of December. This comes amid reports of two potential vaccines showing more than 95% efficacy. The plan may sound foolproof on the surface, but experts noted that the current restrictions will require vaccination teams to travel to and inside nursing homes, likely for multiple visits. That could present a new level of difficulty, according to the CBS report. They also noted that while the federal government has focused much of its efforts on nursing home residents, vaccination plans for staff members are being left up to the states and could make it harder for them to get access to the medication. Experts also questioned the potential side effects that vaccines might pose and explained that it could be difficult for nursing homes to manage both them and ill residents. Providers across the country are pleading with residents, families, and loved ones to find alternative ways to celebrate the upcoming holidays in order to pre prevent further disaster at nursing homes. Quote, this is a plea. Nursing homes really are at the brink. We are at the brink, said Deke Cato, CEO of Atlanta-based nursing home operator A.G. Rhodes. We are at our financial brink. We are at our operational brink. And quite frankly, we are at our emotional brink. I want this holiday in particular for the community to understand that while we cannot do everything we would like to do, we are going to do our best to make it a joyous holiday season, he added. Cato's comments came during a press briefing Monday hosted by Leading Age. The organization issued an open letter to Americans warning them about the risks Thanksgiving gathering pose, gatherings pose to older adults and in long-term care. The plea comes as the virus death toll approaches 100,000 in long-term care settings and cases surging nationwide. The latest data from the American Healthcare Association revealed that confirmed weekly cases in nursing homes reached more than 12,400 during the week of November 8th and have steadily risen since mid-September. Cato noted that holiday seasons are normally filled with lots of visitors, volunteers, and different activities for residents to enjoy. Without them, the pandemic has forced providers to be creative in how to make the holiday meaningful. That has included increasing virtual visits and calls and asking the community to send resident letters. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and the best Thanksgiving possible during these trying times. Thank you.